got the great, great pleasure to now introduce Gilbert and George. Since first meeting at St. Martin's School of Art in London in 1967, Gilbert and George have devoted their lives to the creation of their art. They have subsequently achieved international acclaim across successive generations for many bodies of work that is deeply felt as it's universally accessible. Their art is moral, violent, tirelessly questioning, and visually extreme. The themes explored by the artists are common to all humankind. Sex, money, nationhood, individual, and social relationships, language, and nature. Gilbert and George have been extraordinary uh, participants in Marathon in 2006. They were part of the uh, um, actually interview marathon with Ren Kohlhaas, launching the famous protest against Rucksack, among many things. In the Manifesto Marathon in 2007, it was their manifesto, Ban Religion. In last year's Poetry Marathon, not only did they read their extraordinary poems, but they also um, introduced and uh, helped us to curate an homage to David Robiliard and to date's maps. A very, very warm welcome to Gilbert and Charles. Now it will be partially conversation and partially also uh, a reading, but to begin with the beginning, I wanted to ask you how it all started with maps, because there are so many maps in your work, but when did maps appear for the first time? I think we were thinking this morning that probably in 1969 we did a sculpture called The Meal together with David Hockney, and we had a map which went with the invitation card, so that was really our first map. It was a very obscure location in Bromley in Kent, so it needed a map. But uh, we have been using maps since after that for many, many, many times because we felt that mapping was part of being in some different places at the same time. We even have a very, very big collection of maps, uh, different collections of maps. We have a collection of antique maps of London. And one is actually from 15th century, just extraordinary stuff, just the, the city of London. No? And after that we bought full of maps from 18th century, 19th century, and uh, 80s that and all the stuff, old ones, you know, pre-war, Second World War, and even the country ones. We even have uh, most maps and town guides and gazetteers of most market towns and seaside resorts, because we, had a, we, advertise, we saw an advertisement for somebody who had a, a street map of some city which we liked, and it was a, a lady, a private dealer in books, and after that she just kept sending us more and more, so almost every little Frinton on Sea, or everywhere we have all these street maps, and we love them very much. We have also a huge set of maps that were printed only for the London sorting, post office sorting offices. So they, they, they were probably very rare. A huge bundle of, I think there were probably 50, aren't there? And we do, do like very much design of the maps because they have all these, especially cemeteries or sewage. You know, they have these amazing drawings where everything is. We were amazed at the very early, the 16th century map. <clears throat> has scaffolding, scaffolds for hanging people all over. They were landmarks, I suppose. Outside the city, city gates, every time they had a hanging place. We didn't, uh, we didn't end up there yet. But <laughs> now, some of the maps are, are in your archive. It's part of one of your many archives, but then very often maps also enter your work. I went through the catalogues yesterday. There is a lot of your works. I mean, I was thinking about Can Can, -Can no? There's a map there. Very yeah. often it's long map. Can you talk a little bit about this? We use, we use maps of the neighborhood in which we live for maybe 10 or more years, actually in the pictures, sometimes combined with blood, because dried blood breaks up in an extraordinary way, like a street map. And like even what they call money, we use maps, we use with sweat maps, we use with what they call um, ourselves as well. But uh, yes, map is part of our design that we like very much. It's part of not only mapping the cities, but even a, creating extraordinary design for us. Another moment where mapping enters is in your very systematic kind of way of uh, archiving London in some way. There are many, many, when, if one looks at your, your archives, there are so many photographs of, of London you took. Absolutely. There must be tens of thousands. Absolutely. Yes, because in some way all our art is based on mapping places or mapping cities or mapping heads mapping what you call uh, mapping all kind of different stuff like mapping skin or ma mapping 
blood or ma ma mapping sweat. And last year we did a huge group of postcard pictures. There are three main groups. There are the Union flag picture postcard pictures, and then there are the London telephone box card pictures, and then there's a huge group of flyers. And we believe that in doing that, you concentrate on something very limited, but it becomes very wide and very broad and goes all over the world just by mapping the, the postcards of London. The, the criteria for the London postcards, of the, the ones of the Union flag, was any postcard which had a Union flag in it, however obscure. And we collected 372. And by using 13 cards, 13 identical cards, we could make an angular ring with a space in the middle with a single card isolated in that space. And that became an angular version of the urethra, which of course the beginning of life is male and female, and it was a, one of the theosophical signs as well. People signed the letters with a, with a circle with a dot in the middle. Uh, the ones who don't know about what a urethra is, you can ask your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we will read just a small group of the 372 Union flag picture postcard pictures. One St. Mary acts three times of day, three views on flag, four views on flag, 25 past 11 a.m. Abbey, Abbey flag sky, above tower, Admiralty arch, Anguilla, August 1961, Australia, back and flag, band and palace, Band and shadows. Band on flag. Barbed wire. Bottom rouge. Bayonet. Bear on board. Bear police. Bears. Bear skins. <laughs> Beautiful. Beef eater. Belfry. Berlin. Bermuda. Big Ben. Big Ben and Thames. Big Ben and traffic. Big Ben in fly sky. Big Ben on flag. Boats. Bobbies. Booze. Boyfriend. Bridge. Bridge and beach. Bridge and clouds. Bridge and ensign. Bridge and flats. Bridge and London. Bridge and moon. Bridge and night. Bridge and pink. Bridge and plain. Bridge river. Bridge and stars. Bridge and Thames. Bridge and tower. Bridge flag ski. Bridge lighted. Bridge shadow. Bridges. Brit Britain and Ireland. British Antarctica. British Columbia. Bulldog and grass. Bulldog jack. Bulldog on flag. Bum and flag. Bunting. Bus. Bus and bobby. Bus and phone. Busby bear. Busby. Buses. Cave Jack Hall, Cafe Jack Ver, Canada Square, Carnaby Street, Calvary. So these are all postcards with the Union flag somewhere. And as you see, it's, they're all London postcards, but they go all over the world. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should do the the London pictures. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> because we haven't finished them yet, but they are coming out the next year. Well, that, is, that is uh, where maps all of a sudden play a very big role, because you told me that also you went to photograph London from very unexpected uh, sort of vistas, and you made many, many photographs more of London, and it's all about mapping. Absolutely. We went to, uh, sometimes we go to the top of the monument and look down on the city. We went, where else did we go to? We went to Crouch End which has an amazing view of London. And then we went to where the school is. Harrow, is it Harrow? Harrow on the Hill. Harrow, yes. It's very good, fantastic. It's very sweet, we arrived, we were just taking some photographs looking down in London, and a gentleman leapt out of one of the buildings and introduced himself as the art teacher. And said he was an admirer and apologized that it was not term time, that there weren't any boys. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we said that's perfectly all right. <laughs> So having, having made the picture postcard pictures, we believe that they were semi-automatic in that once we decided that everyone had 13 and they would have that form and that the only criteria 
that was that they had a union flag in. That's a sort of automatic art because we believe very much in the idea that the pictures should make themselves. We also became very interested many years ago in the Theosophical Society and they were capable of writing, automatic writing, speaking to people from the other side of the, of the grave. And there's, they're still in print in America and Australia and although we think it's probably rather cranky and probably very little, little, spooky. little spooky. We don't actually like that part of it. But, but, but there, is some, <laughs> there is some evidence, because the, the discovery of DNA shows that you can trace a person from a tiny piece of fingernail through, through time and space. And also there is research going on at the moment about inherited memory. We believe that if enough people were researching that, we would find out a lot. We know that we inherit traits and mannerisms and looks. Why not inherited memory? So having done the automatic postcard pictures, we wanted to make our new London pictures which we will list, because yes. they're, they're as automatic as we could do. Yes, um, it's going to be extraordinary, because we are, we are we managed to find a system that we don't have to be creative in some way. It, they happen without the, what they call the artistic hand, and we are quite keen on that. So and then we have the titles, because the titles came first, and then the artwork. So you've got the list of all the titles? Oh yes, we wow. have that. It's, it's a, a certain, it's a not all. List. We, we have to point out, because it would look odd if not, that there are two styles of writing in the posters that we are reproducing in the pictures. There's a sort of handwritten style of writing and there's a typeset kind of writing. So the simple difference to most people would distinguish that. You could say that that writing was straight writing. So we like to use the word straight. If there are two pictures called murder, one will be called murder and one will be called murder straight. Because as we always believe, you, you can very often see gay man found dead in canal. They never say straight man found dead in the canal. <laughs> so, so, by using, so, by using, so by using the word straight as a, added to the title, it has an accusative ring, which we rather like. <laughs> so, so here come some of the, the London pictures. Accused. Arrest. Arrested straight. Arson. Attack straight. Attacked. Attacker. Attacked straight. Baby straight. Battered. Battle straight. Beaten to death. Behead. Blaze. Body. Bomb straight. Bombers straight. Bombing. Boy aged straight. Boy straight. Brothel. Burglar straight. Cabby. Caged. Child straight. Children straight. Church. City straight. Cute kids. Cyclists. Dead straight. Death crash. Death leap. Death plunge straight. Death straight. Death various. Death straight. Die straight. Died straight. <laughs> Die straight. Driver. Drug straight. Drugs straight. Drunk. Dying. Execution. Gang straight. Gangs straight. Gay straight. Girl aged straight. Girl straight. Gun straight. Gun man straight. Gun man straight. Gun down. Gun point straight. Guns, hanged, hanging, hate straight, hoodie, hooker, jail straight, jail straight, curb crawl, curb crawlers, kidnap, kids, kill straight, killed straight, killer straight, killer straight, killing straight, killings, kill straight, knife straight, knifed straight, knifed to death, knife man, London straight, lover. Man aged, man dies, man stabbed, man straight, missing, money straight, money more, mugged, mugger straight, muggers straight, mugging, muggings, murder straight, murdered straight, misery death, old age pensioner, old age pensioners, pedo, pensioner, pervert, police straight, pawn, preacher, prison, pupil straight, Race straight. Rape straight. Raped straight. Rapist straight. Robbed. Robber. Robbers. Robbery straight. School straight. Schoolboy straight. Schoolboys. Schools. Sex attacker. Sex beast. Sex pest. Sex straight. Shooting straight. Shootings. Shot straight. Shots. Stab. Stab death. Stab straight. Stab to death straight. Stabbing straight. Strangled to death. Strangler straight. Student. Suicide straight. Teacher straight. Teen straight. Teens. Teenage straight. Teenager straight. 
Teens Strait. Terror Strait. Thief. Thug. Thugs Strait. Toddler. Tot. Tots. Tube Strait. Vandals. Woman Aged. Woman Strait. Yob. Yob Strait. And Youth. This, this extraordinary list of the titles of the new work, all to do with maps, ties in also with a book we've been working on for many years, actually almost 10 years, which is now um, at the printer, which is a book of the list of all your titles, and it's uh, a book um, we've edited together with Inigo Philbrox. I was wondering if you could tell a little bit about this idea of um, uh, the different orders of this title. There is the chronological order, there is the alphabetical order, and there are all kinds of big themes which come out. Death, hope, life, fear, blood, tears, shit, can't. All of these uh, words pop up again and again in the titles, but it will be a little bit like a rap, I suppose, yes. if I'm read. That's why one could say this book should be read aloud. <laughs> we, are quite, we are quite amazed how innocent we were when we started. The titles from 1969 were quite innocent compared to what that we're doing now. <laughs> it's extraordinary, the little book, because I, th I think it tells an amazing story, both chronologically and alphabetically. And it also reads like poetry, and it looks very beautiful, the shapes of the list are extraordinary. I think, I think it's a, an amazing little publication. I was wondering, maybe a last question. You were telling me about the suits and the ties. Ooh. <laughs> the, 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 even the ties are, are maps in a way. Exactly. I was thinking all the time your ties are maps. They, they, were, they were given to us in Croatia in the, based on one of our pictures called Can Can. And we were told that maybe they would be put into production. But at the moment, they were just the two for us. And we took them back to our hotel, had dinner, had drinks on the terrace, and then left them on the terrace. We came down in the morning and the ties had gone. So we asked the bar boy and the, everyone, they, they obviously were going to keep them. Not because they were our ties, just because they're, they're for, for money, I suppose. Anyway, we went to the front desk and said, yesterday we were presented by the Croatian government with two special ties, which we're going to wear at a press conference in London. The manager was shaking like a leaf. We got to our room, the telephone was already ringing, Good news, gentlemen, we have found the cravats. <laughs> <laughs> we still have the one last list. We? No, we have one more list. One more list. Fantastic. Oh, yes, more lists list. would be great. Uh, this is... These are the London telephone box cards. Again, they will be 13 and arranged in the same way. And, and it's, there are very few cities in the world that have posters for their newspapers, like the London Evening Standard has posters the North London Gazette, the East London Advertiser, and also telephone box cards are almost unknown anywhere else in the world. A little in other parts of Britain, but it really is a London thing. <clears throat> and uh, the criteria for that was any card which left something to the imagination. We didn't want any obvious ones. You might not agree entirely, but so. <laughs> A and O. Active. Allen. All kinky. All services. Anton. Aussie. Billy. Bizarre. Black. Bleed in sport. Bloody war. Blue eyes. Bondage with me. Bound to please. Boy. Call me. Call me now. Cane. Caning. Canning. Caribbean. Change. Changed. Chocolate. Christmas. Class. Convincing. Danielle. Danny. Danny boy. Dark hair. Dice. Dolly. Dominatrix. Drag. Dressing up. Dutch. 8050. 813. 18 year old. Anima. English. English massage. Erotic. Fancy. Fantasy island. Feminine. Filthy wankers. Fingertip. <laughs> Fit lad. Five minutes away. Flog. 4896. Friendly. Full medical. Gino. Good looking. Grant. Great ass. Greek lessons. Hanky Spanky. Hard time. Hitler. Home or hotel. Horny. Host. Imit imaginative. Indian Turkish. Italian. Jake. Japan. Japanese student. Joshua. Lad. Lad offers. Ladyboy. Latin. Local. Lois. Luke. Luscious. Magically. Massage. Medical. Muscular, naughty, new, new friendly, new in town, nine inch, nine one six, 
0171 or 207 open late oral oriental oxford circus pre-op real realistic prices ross sensual 7419 7681 sexy she mail sheet what happened <laughs> simply smooth south american spanking special specialist spoilt stables stock and bonds straight acting stretching strict strictly stunning submissive swedish ts tanned tarts that bloody hurts <laughs> tie and tease tight toys and cross transsexual transgendered tropical unhurried uninhibited very best very sexy blonde victorian virgin bottom <laughs> most unlikely but still mm -hmm. warning was born child water sports woman and couples young jay your pain Many, many thanks to Gilbert and Charles. Thank you very much.